Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we're going to be going over a personal dashboard. Uh, this one's Dashy. Uh, there's multiple others out there. There's Himnel, there's Flame. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there, but this is the one that I seem to keep coming back to and using more and more. This one here is already set up um, using a Docker Composer stack in Portainer. Um, what I like about it also is you can have status pages. You can do just a whole bunch of different stuff uh, with, with Dashy that I, I like. Um, if we go to the actual uh, GitHub page, we can see all the different things that, you know, you can do. You can do just a regular uh, dashboard just like that I got, or you can set up different uh, types of uh, theming and, I mean, it's status indicators. I got some status indicators on there. Then you can even do widgets. It's just a very uh, well-established uh, personal dashboard. Um, I'll put those links in there as well for that stuff. Um, so for the portainer itself, the other thing I like about Dashy is that it does have the configuration backup or even an online. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to export the config and download as a file so that we have the configuration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to completely blow this out of the uh, portainer and then we'll put that script in and we'll, we'll set it up again. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go into stacks and we're going to add a stack. It's going to be Dashy. And there's the cleaned up code for that. And once that's in there, we're going to hit deploy. And it says that the stack has been successfully deployed. When we go to containers, it will be starting up and it'll actually start to do some checks. Um, the other thing we do is we can look at the logs and see what it's doing kind of in the background. And it's building this uh, for us. If you go here, we can actually go to the 4,000, and we can see that it's initializing. Okay, here is our layout of Dashy um, with my different uh, th services that we've set up previously, and now that they're being monitored once again. We can tell the status by the indicator. What, we, what I'll do is I'll just go shut off the, uh, uh, the Gidea on here. So we'll just hit Gidea, and we'll say stop. And as you can see now, Gidea has a red and it is refused or it's, it's not connecting there. What we'll do next is we'll go back and we'll start the uh, Gidea. And it has started successful. We'll go back here. We'll do a quick refresh. And we can see that it's now back to green. So just another little indicator for this. Like I said, this is just kind of a nice place where you can just go and, uh, you know, Instead of having to go to Portainer and all these different places, you can just click here and you can go right to the uh, place that you want to. You know, So we can go to Portainer. <laughs> there, our, the Gidea. All time Kuma. So it just makes it a little bit easier to go to the places. I know some people say just make an HTML page. You can put all the links in there. I've got everything that I need. Just a little bit more, a little bit fancier. Uh, Again, thank you for watching. This is Dashy, the personal dashboard uh, being run on a uh, Docker uh, portainer installation. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.